Good morning. Hola. Buenos dias. Oh, sorry. Guten Morgen. Guten Tag. You know, all the accoutrements. Boy, I got crazy here today. Well, there's not much of it, so it's hat season anyhow, so we'll just let it roll. Hey, happy Friday, you all. It is officially fall time rainy which i don't mind this i really don't mind this weather um it kind of makes it a bummer like during su or summer camp mm -hmm. <coughs> nope let me turn my wi-fi off him and his up okay uh i love this weather in general but when you have fall break and you know we've got such a nice piece of property over at work it'd be great if the kids could get out but the last couple days it has just been too yucky so I'm glad we were able to take advantage of the playground and the nice weather at the beginning of the week. Oh gosh, today is a busy day. As soon as I get to work, I gotta get my pot of coffee brewed. Um, that is a necessity. I don't drink nearly as much caffeine as I need to. People are probably like, oh Brittany, I don't know, maybe you shouldn't drink so much. No, I need it. It's one of those sorts of things that uh, medicinally speaking, you know, because we talk about mental health and things like that, being an ADHD person such as myself, I choose to not be medicated as far as what the doctor world has to offer, not knocking it, I know some people need it, some people do well, for me, personal preference, um, but caffeine being a stimulant, either way my ADHD works, and I'm sure a lot of other people can relate, is the up brings it back down or mellows it. So when I consume coffee um, and things like that, it kind of helps level me out a little bit. Um, but coffee, unfortunately, you know, it's as wonderful as it is. Uh, you drink too much of it, you know, different kind of make your heart race, all that. Anyhow, total side tangent. Um, from what I understand, people like that when I go off the rails and talk about some odd stuff. So there you go for whoever likes that thing about me. There it is. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Gosh, I should have rubbed my eyes and stuff way before driving down the road. Glad I got to sit here. Uh, who's got what planned this weekend? We are getting into the throws. We are smack dab just past the middle of the month of October. So, a lot of haunted houses. I have yet to really go and do anything like that. Um, we'll see. I don't know, maybe this weekend. Not that I don't love haunted houses, and I encourage everyone to go and do those sorts of things. Just haven't had time. I'm, I guess I'm kind of in a different season. But we've got the fall break number one haunted house today uh, over where I work at Mental Health America. You know, we run the base program, and we also, you may or you may or may not know, uh, run break camps. So. Fall break, summer break, spring break, you know, the little oddball days off uh, in between. We are open at what used to be the old uh, Mason's Lodge. Uh, for now, that is where everything happens outside of a school day because uh, we do do base, do do, <laughs> um, throughout all the elementary schools. I would say within Boone County, but I think there are schools we don't service. We service Lebanon in Western Boone for the school day, and then during summer, um, we're able to, you know, because most all kids are out at least for a chunk of it, so we might see kids from different places. It's pretty cool. That's really neat because then um, our regulars, what I call our OGs, um, get to meet new friends, you know what I mean, instead of seeing the, not that there's wrong with seeing the same old, same old, but anyhow. Today, Western Boone Schools, their fall break over at the lodge. I look for it to be pretty stinking awesome. Um, again, I think we have pulled it off. This is our biggest, I believe, overall space to date. Um, we have turned half of, God, I don't know how many square feet it is. Grady and I were talking about this. 800 square feet room, so 400 square feet roughly, we'll say, give or take a little bit into a haunted house. Uh, we had to erect walls. You know, luckily we've got stanchions because this haunted house gig is something I've been doing for many, many, many years myself. Um, when I started at the Boys and Girls Club back in 2011, we were doing it there. Um, then 
my, my best my, 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 my best buddy in work wife Annette when she started working at the club um, we started doing the haunted rooms together you know like a collab and then we pretty much worked together uh, for the last shoot 10 10 11 years um, so this is something we've done together our biggest overall until now would probably be the Hattie B. Stokes stage. That one was pretty gnarly. I, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with what we're doing, but that was our first major... No, I can't say that because even when we were doing the buses and the room, you know, a smaller room, we still went all out. But the cool thing is, is our boss is go big or go home. And when it just comes to anything, you know, he wants it to be cool. And we got a lot of... We're really busy doing some new programming and stuff, so... We were a little nervous that the haunted room might not happen, and it's just something that's become such a, I don't know, something kids look forward to, even though right now we don't have a ton of kids. The ones that are there, they've been doing it with us for years, so this is something like we've got makeup we're doing, it's a big deal. So, anyhow, I look forward, I probably won't do a ton of posting of it, well, I don't know, because a lot of the younger kids obviously aren't going to see my Facebook. Stay tuned for a little bit of footage um, and then I guess since we'll probably add to it for next week you can stay tuned for that that was just a rambling guys just talking to you my friends I hope you are having a great morning it is Friday hopefully you have a weekend for those of you that have to work rock on I will see you guys soon bye bye